Well, folks, looking at my analytics, most of you who have been following me are either Millennials or Zoomers. Millennials are the people who were teenagers in the 90s, 2000s, and early 2010s, and Zoomers follow them. Essentially, we're the people born between 1980 to roughly the mid-90s. I was born in early 1994, so that puts me in the same category as that of a millennial. But in all honesty, in relation to culture, in relation to foundations, millennials born in the 90s are proto-zoomers, and millennials born in the 1980-1985 period are just latent Gen Xers. We're a directionless and futureless generation living directionless and futureless lives, stolen, lied to, and cheated. We've inherited our slack and lack of direction from Gen Xers and passed both on to Zoomers. We've also inherited their nihilistic worldview and apathy. Nirvana means as much to us as it did to Gen Xers. They were our Beatles, too. And Zoomers see us as role models. We're much more cynical now because we're aging and life didn't work out for most of us. We're broke and washed up. We lived through a great recession where our once wealthy families and prosperous homes got sabotaged. We grew up thinking that the West was going to die we were going to die due to terrorism and the clash of civilizations. Most of us are going to keep on living in this world and wind up passing away by the late 21st century, having made less money than our parents made and achieved less than our parents did. We're absolutely carefree about any of this. Most of us still haven't moved out of our parents' house yet and won't have enough money to pay for all of our expenses and bills to be able to even do that for a very long time. We stay at home all day or we go out of our house and just hang out around our neighborhoods doing fuck all with our time. We're a completely failed generation and if we're a failed generation, the future ones who follow us will also be destined to fail as well. Those of us who are woke and aware of where we're at need to undo all of our life mistakes. We couldn't seek full-time employment as high school dropouts or with just a high school diploma like boomers or Gen Xers could or make up essays of bullshit that can fool employers into thinking that we're experienced and qualified for the job. Unless you're really good at chemistry, physics, math, and all that, which most Iranians are, but I'm not. And unless you can get into university for something like engineering or computer science, then bachelor's degrees are totally useless and a waste of money. A master's doesn't help that much either. We get tricked into going to college for no meaningful reason, and only to wind up getting economically and financially ruined with student debt, losing our benefactor, not being able to move out of our parents' house for a very long time, being alone and childless, single, and so on and so forth. Yet we've taken over our societies and are the forefront of the economy now. We only had good lives growing up because of our parents, spoiled, overprivileged, with beyond superfluous personal issues. They're extremely worried about what's going to happen to us after they're gone. Are we going to live in shelters or on streets? Are we going to die before they do? Yet, I would think that the greatest years of our lives are behind us or that we're past our prime. We're not even in our final form yet. The 2010s are only the beginning of our story. Fuck your vapid ass childhood, the teen and college years, and first and foremost, fuck the 2010s and everyone who thrived in them and defends them. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.